Hi. Today we're going to try something a little different. Let's put just a camera here. And um, let's get started with this. And let me open the door so the cats can go in and out. First thing is the product I'm going to be cooking can get cooked one of two ways. I want to try something different because I eat the same old crap every day. And frankly, I want to try something different. So, yes, these are little mini uh, White Castle cheese sliders, cheeseburgers. And there's two, there's three, two packs. Now, um, it says here, you can cook it on the stovetop, or you can cook it on the microwave. Let's take a look at the stovetop instructions. I'm probably not going to do that, because, um, cover the bottom of a medium saucepan with water, leave water below the bottom of the steamer insert. Steamer insert? I don't have such a thing. <laughs> Cover and bring to a boil. Cover the insert with foil. Just large enough to hold sliders so that the... Wait a second. Why would you want to cover with foil? Um, so that they don't come in contact with the insert. Place individual sliders on top of foil. Insert this into the pan. Cook. Um, cover. Reduce. Steam for 12 minutes of frozen, 6 to 10 minutes of thawed. Or until center of sliders reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Well, I can do that. But I'm going to try to do the microwave today because it'll be easier. Because, I mean, I just want to take this long. It says here, open the end of the package. One end of the package. Separate the sliders in. Okay, separate the sliders inside the package. Microwave on high for 60 seconds of frozen or 35 seconds of thawed. Okay. Um, so, I think I can do this. Now, I never, I never made these before. So, this is going to be different. Okay. I don't mind trying new things for a while. Open end of a package. Oh. Well, that's what it says. All right, so let's take a look at what they look like. Now, I know they're small. That's small. Shit. This is like one McDonald's hamburger, double cheeseburger, or one... Plain double, oh yeah, one plain cheeseburger in one package. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm pretty damn hungry, okay? So to cook this one, I'm going to make just two for now. So let me put this on the small plate because I don't need a big monster plate. Okay. So, let's see. So, double check the scissors here. Okay. Separate the sliders inside the package. Open one end of the package. Open one end of the package. Separate. Yeah, they're already separated. Okay. I think the microwave would be better. It said put in there for about 60 seconds and frozen. Oh, they're still kind of frozen, so let's clear the timer on here. Clear. For wait a minute. I'm not much into the microwave. Um. But uh, I'll try these two first. I never tried these before, so I'll put the MSCs back in the freezer. It's five sixty nine. I was going to have bought something else. I wasn't sure what. I was thinking 
Mm, I don't know. Okay, because I don't want to, I don't want to over, ooh, they're hot. But, uh, yeah, another 14 seconds. Um, but they smell good already. So, remember the movie Karma, um, oh. Kara Kumar go to White Castle? Yeah. Actually, every other person told me about White Castle prior to that movie. Harold and Kumar are about to like, go to ice White Castle. So, wait. First of all, um, ooh, they got a lot of spice in these bad boys. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm still a little frozen in the center, but it's not too bad. They're very good. They're very good. They are very, very good. Now, yes, they have the holes in the top, too. Let me explain why White Castle's little ciders have little holes in the meat. It's to help steam the ingredients when they're cooking them on the grill, when they're making them fresh. No, White Castle. And that's why they have the little holes. So that the, 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 the steaming of the juices can get into... All pores of the burger. Oh, this is very good. Honestly. Oh, Fame said he wants to try some. My feline now food connoisseur is testing it out. Very good. How's it compared to McDonald's? Oh, it's definitely better than McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Definitely better than McDonald's. Hmm. Yeah. Fame agrees. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So very good. Um you see, I was gonna go I was looking in the store Hummies. I said so I've seen White Castle stuff there before. And I said, Well I was going to get some chicken. I said, ah, fuck chicken. I eat chicken all the time. And, um, and I saw the cheeseburgers, the little sliders. And, um, I said, you know what? I'm going to give these little, sh I'm going to give these little guys a try. Um, and even though I heated it up in the microwave instead of like steaming it in the pan like they suggested. Well, very good, though. Um, what? Oh, he wants more figures. Sure, I should have cooked you one by yourself. Next time. <laughs> uh, um. So if you want to try something different, uh, or if you have a local White Castle in your area, yeah, you want to try a restaurant. If you don't, just try to get in the frozen White Castle burgers. 
Um, shoot, honestly, I could have eaten a whole damn package in two settings. And I just figured I'd try. I was making the two sliders and then see how they tasted. And then by one more, I'll make one later. Very good. All right, cat. Let the let the cat wash her do the plate. Yeah, so wash it after he's done. So, um, in short, the White Castle burgers were very deliciously good. I was surprised. I've heard some people talk about the infamous um. Mention White Castle burgers, some good, some bad. But I never tried them, so try them. We're good. All right, something new, something cool. For now, catch you later. Say trouble. Bye bye.